Hey, what's up, guys? We got some more news involving Beyonce copyright and title. But before we get into everything, this episode's question of the day is what other video websites do you use other than YouTube? So Beyonce's music may soon not be available on her own streaming service Tidal. Now alongside Jay-Z, Beyonce is one of the owners of Tidal, but she's run into some serious difficulties with her current label Sony who own licensing rights to Beyonce's music and now they're demanding a larger cash advance to allow her tracks to be played on Tidal. It's reported that Sony threatened to remove her entire catalog if she doesn't reach a compromise. I guess what really blew up this whole thing was when Beyonce and Nicki Minaj released released that song Feeling Myself. Initially, it was just on Tidal, then it was leaked illegally, but it's reported now that the music video is also available on Vivo, which is a huge blow to Tidal because they say about 900,000 users are registered to their website, which I'm thinking that probably 899,000 of them are people that they paid to sign up with. Like, who uses Tidal? Now, normally I'm against labels and networks trying to fight for the rights for artists or content creators' content, but in this case, I have to side with Sony here because they do own licensing rights so you try to make it exclusive to one particular site that limits how Sony can now distribute that music which then limits their income potential so either you pay up in advance or you suffer some legal consequences this is another reason why I'm all for independent content creators and artists making their own content it may be a little bit of work to build yourself up and get out there but at least you don't have to face all that hassle of copyright licensing ownership etc etc also in the news United United Airlines is coming under fire. This incident involves a lady by the name of Tahira Ahmed. She's a director of the Interfaith Engagement and Associate Chaplain at the Northwestern University. She has accused United Airlines of Islamophobia. She wrote on her Facebook page that she asked for an unopened can of soda, but they refused to give it to her. And then later, the flight attendants brought a man sitting beside her, an unopened bear. And she was like, hey, I was refused a pop. What's going on? And they said that, sorry, we don't allow people to have unopened cans of pop because they might use it as a weapon. In other words, saying that there's potential terror threats if they give her the unopened can of pop. That's like saying, sorry, you're Jamaican, I can't give you this flight brochure because it's paper. You might use it to roll a blunt. Yeah. Now our New York City man, whose name is God, he settled a lawsuit with Equifax, who initially refused to recognize his name. But Equifax will now enter God Gazarov's name into their database. Now originally from Russia, he said that he got his name from his grandfather, and that where he lives, God is a relatively common name. Now I think there are certain restrictions on what you can name your child, but where do we draw the line if you are named something and in a different language, it means something totally different. Hey, what's your name? The devil. <gasps> Oh, no, 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 no. But in my country, Uzbekistan, it means lovely person. Oh, the confusion. And finally, we end off with some news that will make you go nuts. Jeremiah Raber, he's testing his invention, a bulletproof jock strap, and he's doing this by taking a gunshot to his balls. He's invented the nutshells, and it's a cup to help protect athletes. However, it's targeted to a lot of military personnel because of how strong it is. Now, he's trying to raise $30,000 on Kickstarter. He'll be using that money to make smaller versions for boys and he's hoping to increase funding by showing people just how reliable it can be by getting shot in the balls himself now I don't care how strong this jock strap thinks it is when it comes to these nuts ain't nothing coming close well sort of but anyways guys that was my five cents on everything in the last video you were asked do you consider Bruce slash Caitlyn Jenner male or female and this is what you guys had to say on this I'll see you guys back here later with another episode of FCD News, some intense news action coming, so stay tuned. Until then, I'm Leroy Sedman Kenton, the original natural bond Jamaican black man. Boom, me out.